my goodness. <laughs> Like we're, we're actually pretty close to the waterfront. And I just realized there's a skate park here that I skated before, so that's really cool. So I might venture down there too after I draw the carnival. But there's a lot to do here. This is a pretty amazing place. Hi, right, so we're here at Astoria Park Carnival. I am so excited to be here. I've been waiting to document this carnival for such a long time. And it feels good to finally live here, to be here in Queens, and live here in Queens, and document this. So there's a lot that's going on behind me. It's pretty intense, you can hear. So it's pretty overwhelming if you're going to document something like this to focus on something very specific and something very simple. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to focus on what makes a carnival great, what makes it fun. I'm going to focus on three different things, color, vibrancy, and excitement. Hopefully I'll be able to bring those three elements into the story and into the reportage. And I brought some different materials on me. Here's a brief rundown of the uh, art supplies I'll be using. First up is a Speedball C style dip pen. The dip pen is one of my favorite drawing instruments. Uh, the nib can be changed uh, to a calligraphy style edge or more of a drawing nib uh, that has different variations. So uh, also get yourself some waterproof ink. Uh, I'm using um, Blick uh, Black Cat Waterproof India ink. And now for color, which is gonna be important for my reportage today. I like oil pastels. Uh, I have all kinds of different oil pastels. Torbert makes some oil pastels, Blick makes some oil pastels as well. Uh, there's all types. I like the softer ones. Uh, and I'm also going to be using ink tense blocks. Uh, these are Derwent ink tense blocks. They're really great. Um, lots of good vibrant color here. Uh, something that'll work perfect for today. Something I always take with me on the go is Derwent's line and wash paint set, which comes with these great colors and also two line maker pens. And finally, the paper, which is uh, quite important to stand up to and uh, really highlight the mixed media I'm utilizing. Uh, this is a Derwent Life Ads paper. I love this paper a lot. It's a 12 by 16. It's hot press and it's also very heavy. It's 300 GSM, so you can throw pretty much anything at it. It's very versatile. I found a good spot to start my drawing. Here I want to just begin drawing and not overthink it. My focus is on observing and reacting. A wonderful aspect of reportage drawing is how much I learn by simply paying attention. It allows me to tell a story that is happening right before my eyes. I'm using my dip pen and India ink to get loose and create a nice drawing. The use of color, how important it is for, for this situation. For color, I want that intensity, so I'm using these intense blocks, which I can use dry, apply like a pastel, and create opaque washes, almost like a gouache. And you'll see that later in the video. All this super fun drawing has given me an appetite, so it's time for Carnival Fairway Food Break before we get to our next drawing. Thank you. I brought my reliable uh, for on the go line and wash paint set and also made some color swatches. Found this great spot and I wanted to really capture the entire carnival. Uh, so from this location, I've got this wonderful bridge um, that's overhead, that's the uh, RFK bridge and the tree line that basically frames the entire carnival and then the skate park at the bottom and to the left. So I'm just going to build up washes uh, on top of this really nice loose sketch that I applied with the uh, line maker pens that come with the paint set. Um, mixing my own colors and I'm going to save some of the more intense colors for the last part of it to really illuminate the uh, vibrant colors that are throughout the carnival. So I'm laying down a little bit of the yellow and red and some of the primary colors. There's a stretch in Queens where the world basically comes to you and you're along for the ride. 
You can try Filipino food, Salvadorian, Nicaraguan, Tibetan, and Indian food, and learn about those cultures from locals living here. It's my kind of place. And to think, I just moved here and summer is just about to start. Muchas gracias, Salamat, Astoria, Queens. I've got my art supplies and I'm ready to explore. I'll see you out there.